Look at that. Look at, would you believe that? This is England. Most days were like, not a good day, is it? It's not a fucking good day, is it? Today is a great day. So we are going to do some great fitness. Oh, you know how sandbag holds are like one of the best things you can do? Just like a f build up to a five minutes. I honestly reckon I could do it with the dog. And you're, you're a good 20 kilos now. Oh, babe. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cheeky. Let me know. <laughs> I didn't realise she was there. Need to put this for adults. <laughs> hey, that was alright, wasn't it? Yeah. The big yellow ball in the sky came out and we managed to do some fitness. Since we've been in the garage and basic, and all we've been doing is biking and rowing and some dumbbells, our biking's got a lot better. Like 20 cows a minute is, is now for me feels like really good on this. When you feel like you're making no improvements, just remember that everything that you do is like um, pennies in the bank or whatever they call it. Do or do not. There is no try. It all adds towards... Saying that also, toes to bar and handstand push-ups don't feel as good as they've ever been. But I mean, it's, bit, it's to be expected, so you just roll with the punches. We've done one kipping session this year, other than this one. It was on the five days ago. This is technically our second of the year, but I mean, it took us until the 20th of February to get outside. Isn't it crazy how like the weather has just gone from like, like a week ago, we had, like, there was snow, snow and it was Baltic. Then and you're like, oh, I can't see the end. And then it was dark. And now it just feels like within a week, it's just it's got light. So and you, I mean, I can train on the top of it. It's a full also guys, do you, what do you think of these leggings? Do you like them? I was wearing the green version the other day and the uh, black version. Hopefully this will be coming in the summer. Let me know because if you don't like them then you know maybe we won't. <laughs> also for everyone that keeps asking on the videos this is the P90 wall mounted pull up bar. It's the galvanised version. So it doesn't have the coating on it. But um, we just bolted it into the wall. Like you just drilled a couple of holes, put in the wall plugs, three on either side and it's good to rock and roll. And I know a lot of you CrossFit warriors out there are going to be like, what? He's taped and using grips? Yeah. I swear, I was speaking to Jazz about this before, I swear the bar makes a huge difference. Like when we, when we go to Kevin's box in Germany, he has one bar that literally I could put my grips over and it's like, you might as well have super glued my you hands to the bar. You actually great cheese on that bar. Yeah. Like it's real. You've got a very small mini spider hanging from your beard. Yeah. Look at this. It's a small, let's just put this in. Whereas if we had no tape on that, it's like literally holding on to like an, like an ice cube. Lovely session this morning. Let's get into the news part of today's video. If you're watching this video on the day it comes out, it's the 27th of February. The month of which, if people had OCD, every single line is filled. Pretty cool. But that also means that it's 12 days now until the open starts. And don't worry, I've put a timeline together of how your emotions are going to be on a roller coaster through probably the next, the next two months. We'll take a breath. Try and calm down. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay 21.1 is going to burn. Just very quickly, how on earth do you sleep at night? Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at least that's sorted. There's the roller coaster of emotions out the way. First off on today's news video, I just wanted to go through a couple of facts that I thought were super interesting about the past opens. There's been 10 of them, this one will be the 11th. First off, 10 CrossFit Games opens. Here are the top open performers and the number of times they were in the open top 100. Leading it for the women, Annie Thorisdotter, Rebecca Voigt, Kelly Jackson and Thuri Helgadotter, nine times out of the past 10. And on the male side, the only person to feature in the top 100 10 times out of 10 is Rich Froning. Followed by Scott Panchik, Ben Smith and Frederick Agidius, all getting nine. Looking at how many times people have appeared in the top three, Rich Fronin, out of the 10 opens, has finished in the top three six times. Matt Fraser five times, 
And on the female side, Annie Thoris started five times, Sarah Sigmund's daughter four times. And then the number of times that the Open has been won by an individual. Sarah Sigmund's daughter holds that for the women with three overall wins. And on the male side, Matt Fraser with four. So now armed with those statistics, so now armed with those, so now armed with those statistics, 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 statistics. So now armed with those statistics. And Matt Fraser not competing and maybe being out of the picture. He may do the Open, we don't know. Highly doubt it though. Who is your top male and female for this year's CrossFit Games Open? Put it down in the comments below. I want to dance. Let me show you how. Woo! Now other news in the space. We've seen Chandler Smith join Comp Train to be coached by Ben Bergeron. Joining that team that seems to be growing this year. Now the four of them training together look like Samuel Quant, Amanda Barnhart, Katrin Davisdor and Chandler Smith. The proven team has also grown with the addition of James Newbury. In some quite incredible news, Graham Dessert. Set out last year on February the 22nd, 2020, to do a Murph every single day for a year. The 40 year old didn't just do that. On day 366, he woke up and for good measure did Murph just one more time. Putting that into context, this man, or should we call him legend, ran 730 miles, did 36 and a half thousand pull ups, 73,000 push ups, and 109,500 air squats. That's crazy, and I thought it deserved to mention. He, he did it basically to show that the human mind and body is capable of more than you think it is. In other news, we've seen the Nike Metcon 6 Lux edition be announced, and to be honest, I think they look horrendous. There's only 200 pairs being released, and I don't know who would buy one. And I love a Metcon. Jacob Hepner's barn has now been built and pretty much finished. What was the first thing he used it for? Was it a was it a big barn workout with all his bros? Nope, it's a late Galentine's party. And then finally, to round out today's news, something that's got CrossFitters talking this week and, um, and got people hoping maybe for a 1RM clean and jerk or snatch is the fact that Klokov, the former Russian Olympic weightlifter, silver medalist at the Olympic Games, multiple world champion, and is currently 38 years old, with a PB snatch of 196 kilos and a best clean and jerk of 232 kilos, with a total of 428 kilos, is doing the open. You'll take a breath, try and calm down. Instantly in your head you'll probably think, he's super strong, probably doesn't have capacity. I don't know, he's been training with Roman Krennikov. Mr. Capacity himself. And alongside that, he's also been getting some weightlifting tips from him. It's gonna be interesting to see how he holds up in the open. The guy is an absolute, the guy is an absolute monster. Like he's huge. And he's got a lot of strength and mobility. And then if you think your training's going bad or you just want something to, to appreciate and be like, yeah, I've been there and done that. Then to end today's video, Here's Brent Fikowski's quads cramping up during a workout and him finishing it. Ah! <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been there. But anyway, team, hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do smash that like button. It really does help. Hustlemade.com. We have a sale on up until the open. Grab yourself some stuff there. Help support the channel and be part of the coolest brand on the internet. So you can keep up to date with all the latest videos. And as always, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Put that bell notification on. I hope you had a good day, evening, night, morning, whatever you're doing. And I hope this brought a little bit of joy to your day. We'll catch you in the next one.